Hi guys, welcome to the Blogettes YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a really cool video for you guys. I'm sure every time you go now into a website or frequently, you see that a little box pops up and tells you if you want them to send you notifications. So if you allow, you'll start getting best of notifications about that company. If you say no, then you won't get them. So I think that's something very, very helpful for bloggers because bloggers uh, have a very dedicated audience. So if you install that pop-up, a lot of people are highly likely to say yes, allow notifications, and then when you publish a new blog post, you will be able to automatically send a notification to these people, and they will highly likely click on that, and it's a way to increase your traffic. So I'm gonna show you really quickly um, on our Blogettes account some of the things that you can do with push through, so then you can try it on your own. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here on the first screen, I just created a free trial account so you guys can see how it looks the first time you log into it. Um, you're gonna see here that it says copy and paste this code before the head tag on your website. If you know how to do that, you can do that yourself. It's very, very easy. Um, if not, you can just put the email of your developer in there and you'll be able to send them the code and they can place it for you. Um, if you want to make things even easier, you can just, if you have a WordPress site, you can just click here where it says WordPress plugin. It'll tell you what plugin you need to download into your site to be able to connect push through with your website. So it's very, very easy. So once you've connected with it, just really quick thing, you can either use this code on the head of the site, which means that then the pop-up that will say allow notifications will pop up on each one of your pages. So it will pop up on any page that the visitor lands on. Or if you say, I just want people to get this pop-up um, whenever they're on the home page, then you would just paste this code on the home page of your site versus just on the head of the whole site. Um, just wanted to make that clear. So now let's take a look at our Blogettes account and this is all the things that you can do with it. Um, so this is our summary. Um, as you can see here, we've got in two new subscribers today. We have 30, 366 total subscribers. We started using this just very recently, but our subscribers keep in increasing. This is the last notification that we sent. This is for a blog post that we wrote yesterday. Um, it was delivered to 261 people, 17 people actually clicked on it. It's a 7% click-through rate, which is actually pretty good. Um, I was reading a study on this and there's 25% more click-through rates on push notifications that there is on email and social media posts, so that's actually really cool to know. Um, so this is the summary. Then when you see here the RSS to push, this just means that if you don't necessarily want to take the time to schedule each one of your notifications. So let's say, let's say each time you write a blog post, you don't wanna go in here and schedule and customize a notification to go out. You can connect just your RSS feed in here. And then each time something is published on your blog, then a notification will go out to your followers or whoever has to your subscribers. Um, here, you can actually see what notifications you've sent before um, and what results you've gotten with them. So. That's really, really cool. Um, here in a second, you're gonna see that sometimes we use the icon for blog ads, sometimes we use a custom picture. It's very, very easy to customize your notification. Um, you can here see your schedule notifications. So if you're very proactive and you already have your blog post ready for the week, you can go ahead and schedule them. Um, the API for developers is just in case you wanna do any customization. Um, customize for desktop. So here's where you're gonna spend a little bit of time. So here's where you're gonna design your pop-up, so be the one that people are actually gonna see, right? So first decision you have to make is this display push notification permission box after how many seconds after your people, someone lands on your website. We have it set at 20 seconds because we don't want it to be the first thing people see, but we also don't want it to take too long. We uploaded the Blogettes icon there, and then we implemented our voice on the box, right? So wanna get notified whenever we post a super awesome blog post? No thanks, obviously. So you can put your custom title, custom subtitle, what the button is gonna say, instead of saying yes, RSS obby, um, disallow button text, no thanks. Um, so instead of saying no, like you can do it no, send, no thanks, it's a lot of customization that you can. And you can actually see how it's gonna look here on the right corner. Um, this is for desktop, so how the notification will show up in desktop, and this is for mobile. So you can do the same text, you can do it differently, whatever you want for your brand, but here's where you would customize it for mobile. Um, here it is, customize for mobile. 
And then another thing that you can actually do, which is my favorite, is that you can actually send notifications over the phone. Um, the only thing that is not working right now is you can just send it to people that have Android phones. It still doesn't work with iOS. And on desktop, it works with Chrome and Firefox. It still doesn't work with Safari. But majority of our audience at Vlogas uses Chrome, so we have no problem with it. We like it. Um, hopefully they add the iOS feature soon. Um, so we have that right now and then just so we don't get any longer Basically once you've set up how your push notification permission box is gonna look you can Kind of like get it live because you've installed your code and then it's time for you to send your first push notification So you can go here into send push notification. You're gonna do your title your message um, the landing page of your that blog post specifically that you want to do don't mess with the three things here um, Add an image so you can do your blog logo or you can do maybe your featured image for your blog post And then you can send it to all your subscribers or if you've taken the time to create segments of depending on interests of people That's another video that we can do but you can actually create segments So in this case you can send it to all the subscribers and then you can deal here with advanced options, auto hide notification after 20 seconds so you don't bother people or schedule this notification. And as you can see here on the right, it will appear. This is how it will look on Chrome desktop, on Firefox, and then this is how it will show on Chrome and Android. So that's a little bit about Push Crew, guys. I really hope you like it. I think it's a very, very useful tool. We are all trying to increase traffic to our blog or website. So why not try to use every tool at our hands? This is very, very simple. If you have any questions, let us know. I hope you really like this video. I hope it's useful for you. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.